Christmas season is the reason to hit the gas to Visalia MMA gear and Visalia MMA gear of Hanford. The Valley's number one choice and the biggest selection of MMA clothing and gear. Whether you need t-shirts, gloves, fight shorts, accessories, they have everything at Visalia MMA gear, including top brands like Warrior, Tap Out, Cage Fighter, Punishment, Silver Star, Hibusa, Sprawl, Hostility, Clinch Gear, Ferritex, Throwdown, and many more. Remember, there is no competition, period. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Mods Cage Radio. I'm now joined on the phone by a professional fighter who just was out in action out at the Tachi Palace. He now holds a record of 12-8. and 8. I am on the phone with Tim McKenzie. Tim, welcome to the show, my man. How are you? I'm doing I'm doing well now that uh you know my name's kind of getting cleared up that that record shouldn't be 12 and 8 it should be 13 and 7 Absolutely with, uh, judging off of that video Okay now uh what we're talking about is most of you guys have seen it some of you have it it's up here on Cage Radio basically Tim fought uh a, a fighter the other night out at the Tachi Palace Seth uh Bix- Bakowski I believe is how you say his last name Bazinski Yeah some yeah. shit like that anyway um, I was sitting cage side and I didn't even see this go down. But basically, you had him in an arm bar, and then the next thing I know, he just started dropping elbows on your face, and Rosenthal jumps in and says you lose. But upon further review, he actually tapped. You broke his arm. He I broke tapped. His arm, I pop it, and he yells, and then he starts tapping. So I let go because right. I I knew it broke. I'm like, oh shit, man! I, it went too far. And then all of a sudden, I'm coming down with pun- punches and elbows. I'm like, oh, what the? Hell? Yeah. Oh, you can cuss, bro. Go ahead. Yeah, it was, I was just like, I was like, this is fucking ridiculous. How am I getting elbowed? The fight's over. And then, oh, bam, boom. Um, I'm like, all right, well, that that didn't work out so well. Next time. uh <laughs> I, I'm just going to have to keep r- cranking on it. Yeah, I mean, it's a no-win situation for you because, I mean, if we're sitting cage side and we think the guy's tapping and you don't let go of his arm because Josh isn't coming I'll in there. The trouble of it. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And uh, I don't know, you know, what you're supposed to do. I know, like, in football you're supposed to play until the uh, till the whistle blows, et cetera, and so forth, but I really don't know what the hell you could have done there. You broke his arm. He's tapping. You can verbally see him say tap. You know, on the video, um, and you know, and and it, it's like I've been fighting for ten years. Uh, there's like an honor kind of right. code system there. You know, if someone taps, you you let go. You don't you don't crank on it and try and right. ruin someone's career. Right. You know, I I if if I tap, I you know, hey, I tap. You know, I'm gonna take it admirably, but right. You know, not don't uh, don't abuse it because then now now it just kind of ruins ruins your image, and then it also ruins. Not my, not my image, but right. it just ruins my day because I didn't get the win bonus that I, I truly should have got. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, because I play a lot of golf, and, I mean, we call penalties on ourselves. I mean, it's a game of honor. MMA is also a game of honor. You guys all respect one another, everybody that gets in the cage. And, I mean, after you tap, why would you start dropping elbows on your opponent when you know the only reason your opponent let go is because he broke your arm and you were tapping? It's just like it's absurd. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't quite understand that. But you know, I guess we're we'll have to find out sooner or later. Hopefully, he responds and lets us know what was really going through his mind afterwards. He he came up to me and goes, "Bro, oh, did did you make a mistake and think I tapped?" I'm like. Oh, no, wow. you tapped. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. And uh, and he said, well, I I don't. I had a couple witnesses, my wife and a couple other people were around. They go, hey, honest question, did you tap? He goes, well, uh, uh no, I, I I don't think I tapped, but I'll, I'll have to kind of go back and look at the video. I'm like, well, hopefully you watch it and you'll you'll see that you tapped. Yeah, now uh, now my buddy uh, Chris Gerhart from uh, Title MMA, he was cage side. He's the one that provided that video that we have yeah, up there on. I'm uh, so happy Chris was there videotaping. Yeah, me. because if if not, this wouldn't have actually been there. Because in the in the the palace one, I thought they would have had a good view too. Right, but it's kind of hard to see. I if you slow it down and on the replay, you can see it better. But with Chris's shot, it's dead on. I'm like, oh my gosh, I saw it right after the fight, and I was like. 
all right, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll wait till Chris puts it up, and then the truth will be settled. I didn't want to – not a poor sport. You know, I'll take a loss if it's lost where yeah. it's due, but I didn't lose. I won that fight. Yeah, because that's exactly what I was going to say. We were uh, – I was doing interviews, et cetera, and so forth throughout the night after the fight. We were doing some drinking and whatnot, and I didn't hear you pissing and moaning about, hey, this guy tapped, et cetera, and so forth, but now I know why because obviously you had the video and there's no sense in doing it. It would all come out in the wash. But, yeah, there's no re- no reason to go piss and moan and cause a big scene. When right. I know the video will set everything straight. So now what is it that you do? Do you go to the California State Athletic Commission? Have you already done uh, that? Yeah, I went I went and dropped everything off today. So um, now it's in their hands. So hopefully everything comes out good. I don't, I don't, I, this is the first time this ever happened to me. So okay. I honestly don't know what's going to go on. So hopefully, hopefully everything gets cleared up and, at least get the loss taken off. Yeah. Uh, now, the uh, for- now the uh, the one thing that I was what is concerned about is okay. So the California State Athletic Commission could re- you know give you back your loss, but like you're not going to get that win bonus. Yeah, I, I don't know how that works, and hopefully, you know, if they reverse it and they put a W, maybe set to be mad enough to actually chip down the the money that was rightfully mine. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna find out. I'll, I'm gonna get a call out to uh, Seth. I don't really know. I didn't have the phone number. I'll get that from the Tachi Pals. We'll worry about that. But I figured I wanted to talk to you first. And my boy Jeff Gallion over at MMA KO uh, hooked me up with I the digits. You guys, yeah, you guys are you guys are great. I really appreciate what you guys are doing. Yeah. So, um, well. Um, I'm sorry that you lost the other night. You know, it, it, everybody hey, on the. Okay. We we didn't lose. We, it, right. we really won, but in the records, yeah, it's a loss. <laughs> right. Well, other than the uh, the fight, how how was the uh, how were the amenities? How did the Tachi Palace treat you? Right. Well, Tachi Palace, man, I love that place. Okay. They, they, you know, that's where I first started, and uh, I they they take care of you. And you know what? I I'd love to go back and and do it again. Those guys are great, Jeremy. Rich, everyone down there, it's it's a fantastic place and a fantastic organization that I love and will continue to fight for. Okay, so fantastic. Now, um, obviously, other than getting smashed in the head with the elbow, I, didn't, I don't. Are you like medically suspended or anything? Forty five days? Yeah, like that? I, I have a forty five day okay. suspension, so I'm gonna head take take my wife to Disney World and go hang out for a little bit. It's been a busy, hectic year, so finish off a little relaxation. All right, so uh, obviously there's nothing uh, set up uh, for the future, but you would like to return out to the Tasha Palace. We'd love to have you out there for sure, my man. Yeah, I, I definitely love to come out there and uh, fight for you guys again. You guys are great. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to stay on the story. Definitely keep me in the loop, my man. Let me know what the California State Athletic Commission uh, has to say awesome. when the ruling is going to be. And, uh, I, again, I just want to thank you for uh, taking time with me here at Cage Radio. And I want to give you this opportunity, Tim, to shout out anybody you want, my man. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to thank, first of all, my wife for putting up with everything and my family. Uh, everyone down at uh, Ronin Jiu-Jitsu, Sen Cal, Fairtex, uh, Power Balance, Liquid Nitro. Those guys helped me you know, financially. Mom and Dad, T. Grant and Associates. Stockton Max Muscle and uh, Marin Insurance and also Beat Down Fight Gear. Thank you guys so much for always being behind me and most of all the fans out there that are keeping me alive. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Right on. Well, we appreciate you, my man. Definitely keep us in the loop. I want to thank you again and we'll talk to you soon. Tim McKenzie, thanks again, bro. Thank you guys. Bye. All right. Out.